we are in weather authority alert mode, so we're turning to weather uh, meteor authority. Uh, <laughs> getting my <laughs> words twisted it. a little you bit there. <laughs> weather authority meteorologist Violet Skybor. We're yes. expecting some winds that could be as damaging as it was earlier in the week. Yes, and they actually look to be even stronger than that. And with that, we could even see some uprooted trees, power outages. It's going to be a dangerous situation on Saturday. So with that being said, check out this map. Everyone is under either a warning or advisory for these strong winds we are expecting on Saturday. The strongest winds expected to be along Lake Ontario and up across the North Country, maybe even the highest hills south of Syracuse as well. But everyone is going to be impacted by this. So the wind speeds gusts could be up to around 60 miles per hour, maybe even higher in those higher elevations. And with winds that strong and the loose soil because of how wet it is, we could again see some uprooted trees and power outages are likely. On top of that, if you put out any of your Christmas decorations, make sure to move those indoors tonight before the wind begins. On top of that, we're also going to see some flooding as well because of those strong winds moving in from the west. We will have some flooding along the shoreline of Lake Ontario through Oswego and Jefferson counties again on Saturday. And make sure you do not go out on the water. We also have a storm warning. We could see waves around 10 to 20 feet on the lake. So for right now, we are actually seeing light winds and dry conditions. It's quite outside for this evening. This is a live look from our triple Doppler radar sponsored by Falso Service Experts. But we're not far away from this strong weather system. We'll get a warm front heading through tonight that will drive in a south wind, bringing rain showers after midnight, and it will continue to ramp up the winds. But the strongest winds don't arrive until tomorrow afternoon and evening. Evening, and that's when this cold front arrives. It will continue the chance for rain throughout the day, but the best chance to see some uprooted trees or power outages are going to be late in the afternoon and towards the evening time tomorrow. So to sum up your weekend forecast, a high near 64, which is record breaking for Saturday. We'll have rain showers throughout the day. It will be windy through the day, but again, the strongest will be during the evening time. That's when you want to stay off the roads and also move anything indoors that can be blown around. As we go towards Saturday night, that's when we'll see some lake effect snow develop, eventually tapering off towards a Sunday with mostly sunny skies and nice dry weather. Again, we're quiet outside for this evening. A warm front heads through overnight tonight with temperatures warming up into the mid 40s by morning and some breezy conditions. Then we'll have some strong winds developing as we go towards lunchtime and into the afternoon as those rain showers continue on and off once that cold front arrives. So the cold front moves through about 5 p.m. after that that we do look to dry out for a brief period of time, but we will still be having those pretty strong winds. Then as we go towards Saturday night, we'll have some lake effect flurries develop that dry out by tomorrow morning or tomorrow morning, Sunday morning with a nice dry day on Sunday and even some more sunshine as well. A check of your seven day forecast to sum this up. It will be rain and windy on Saturday. Strongest winds during the evening time, a high near 64. Nice on Sunday as we dry out with decreasing clouds and plenty of sunshine in the afternoon. It will be breezy with a high near 44. Then lots of sunshine Monday and Tuesday before our next rainmaker arrives Wednesday and Thursday with mild temperatures all week long. Connor. Violet, thank you.